Assalamualaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from Animwatch and we are back with another five watches uh, that I should, I think you should, you, you guys should be checking out, right? The price point that we're talking today is from 100 US dollars up until 200 US dollars. So basically all these five watches I've handled, I've personally handled them. So I'm not going to be talking about watches that I haven't handled before. So yeah, let's go to watch number one, which is the wa a watch that I've already sold. So that is the... Um, Heimdallah Monster version 1 and also version 2. So basically the differences are the version 1 is basically mimicking or copying the design of the Seiko Monster Gen 2 and the version 2, the Heimdallah Monster version 2 is you know homaging the Seiko Monster Verge, uh, Gen 3. So both of them are great great watches totally tot, you know uh, total value for money so normally they will go for they will you know they are on sale for about 150 to 160 us dollars but i've seen them go as low as 130 us dollars during the um the sales so and any aliexpress sales and the 430 35 35 us dollars you get a hell lot of money hell lot you know hell lot of specs for the money you got a uh, 316 sales stainless steel case um a, re a relatively good bezel a metal bezel and of course the very unique dial especially on the version one version um i i'm my personal favorite is the red one and of course for the second one you can always go for that you know frost monster version which is which looks absolutely cool in my opinion right? so yeah you can't go wrong with any of these uh, heimdallah monsters i think they are still available now and i think it is totally worth the money right especially when you they are using the um, the uh, Seiko NH35 movement and you don't have you know you don't really ha normally on the monsters you're gonna have the um, sorry I think they're using the NH36 movement I'm so sorry about that anyway so let's just go to um, watch number two which is a cistern right so this one I've reviewed a few months back and yeah this is an homage of a um, a D brand, so the, the 600T models. So during the review, I mentioned that I didn't really like this particular design because of the. Uh, they should have gone. Uh, they should have created something a bit thinner. And but yeah, still I do like it now. And yeah, I kind of the design has kind of grown on me. Of course, this is not a you know an original design by Cistern, but still, uh, if you guys wanted to check out the real thing before you do the purchase, the you know tour. Well, 1500 US dollars is quite a lot of money but you can always try it on by buying this um, this an homage watch and yeah having a sapphire sorry sapphire crystal and also the ceramic bezel insert and this uh, matte blue dial with this big big uh, minute uh, orange um, orange mini hands and yeah I think it looks cool the only downside is that uh, they, this sister always um, update their, their design the first version the uh, the uh, what do you call this the hour hands is a bit too small they have enlarged it in the second version mine is second version and i think lately they do have the v3 version i have no idea what are the differences between the v2 and v3 but yeah still um it kind of you know annoys me a bit <laughs> a bit because yeah they they don't really do it right the first time of course it didn't came on this bracelet and i it came on the um, the the 600T looking bracelet but yeah still I think that it would look cool on this um, what do you call this mesh bracelet and yeah the thickness of about 13.5 that is a bit you know thick in my opinion but still um, an awesome awesome watch for the money you know what? let's just see how it looks on my uh, skinny 6.75 inch wrist and I think it looks you can always um, you know pull this off into if you like the design that is right and of course the loom on this thing is absolutely awesome and you have that unique you know loom that will right so this is uh, watch number two let's go to watch number three which is another which is the this chronos l6015 i think all right so this one is the um, of course and a watch of a very very popular watch on the planet <laughs> so i don't have to mention any names here but what i do like about this particular piece of course is the build quality and um with chronos you always have the uh, the, the choice to go for this um non uh, this is a the, the loom on this particular piece is only available on the 12 minutes uh, 12 hour mark 12 
on this triangle here but you can always go for a few bezel options that is available on, on their sales um, full loom bezel with uh, you know loom indices and of course if you don't like this black on black bezel black on black style you can always go for green and you can always go for blue blue and there are tons of variations available on their chrono on their chronos uh, page all right basically we've got 316 l stainless steel when we have the design of this uh, what you call this the maxi case polish side and of course it is going to attract quite a lot of scratches here and there and nice bracelet screwed in link bracelet and the you know the most unique feature that i really really do like about this particular chronos is this on the fly adjustment system right so i just love this thing right it is an excellent uh, watch for the money and for less than 200 US dollars normally it will go on sale for about 150 160 this is an excellent choice if you guys like this kind of this style of watch right so if you don't like it you don't like it <laughs> but still you really can't go wrong with Kronos okay so that is watch number three let's go to watch number four which is a San Martin okay which one I'm gonna go for this SN0107 and at this point of time I'm not really sure whether, whether you can get this uh, under 200 US dollars but I hopefully so because they have um, this is the first version where it came with this um, full patina indices so I'm pretty sure that this one you can get it for under 200 US dollars but a few other dial variations those are much much more new so those might cost more than 200 US dollars but still an excellent choice for the money guys so yeah field style watch 39 millimeters in diameter i think 12 mil in thickness 20 millimeters slot width and excellent bracelet from san martin and you can see that um, it doesn't have the the new on the fly adjustment system but still from san martin you know that you get a high quality product and of course this is not an original design watch this is an homage of a certain to the r model but you know what they even have the guts to compare this the case finishing versus the real thing so i think that is you know <laughs> it's a bit cheeky from santa martin but i know that they have a quite high quality finishing and yeah maybe they could do that without having without being sued or whatever 20 millimeters uh, like with tapering down to 16 millimeters which is my favorite um taper size of course screw down good links and yeah and we have this uh i might be wrong here i think it is using the nh35 but maybe they're using so yn55 for either way both are excellent movement yeah, yeah. and yeah for if you can get this for less than 200 bucks it's a total bargain in my opinion right next the last but not least is my favorite watch under 200 us dollars which is the san martin sn0004 so this is the fourth watch that i have reviewed and i've kept three of them um of course this one the if you search this uh, model this particular milsap style uh, hands they are not available on san martin official store or on the san martin store but rather you need to get it from store selling uh, the product that you know they have uh, you know a collab with the uh, watch dives um this one uh, ceramic bezel insert nh35 movement and of course that unique um mill sub handsets and the case the, the i think the unique selling point of this particular piece is the case it's simply you know stunning to look at guys so 38 millimeters in uh, diameter on the case but 39 millimeters on the bezel 20 millimeters slot with tapering down to 16 46 millimeters from up to lug and 13.5 millimeters including that dome or box dome sapphire crystal i think you know if you guys like something small or if you, if you guys prefer you know does that vintage looking um sub style right and yeah you, you just can't go wrong with this particular piece and a whole lot of dial option right so it is just <laughs> it's just cool looking and if you guys like smaller um vintage ish vintage ish looking dive watch you just can't go wrong with the san martin sn0004 okay so let's just give them these watches a few a quick charge with the loom let me just show you guys and see how the loom perform all of these watches have great loom totally um 
great loom and of course the Seiko monster is going to be blowing uh, not Seiko monster the Amdala monster is also does also have a great loom but I don't have it anymore and let's just go for this four watches are you guys ready three to one and you can see already is the um, the cistern all right so if you don't really need that you know, loom that wheel but still having it <laughs> does make it you know a bit special in my opinion so bgw and super lumanova awesome loom and on the uh chronos of course absolutely excellent loom there and of course the slow the weakest loom here will be the uh, c3 um, vintage looking vintage loom on the uh, sn0107 but not bad either and uh, you know the most uh, powerful one is going to be this um, sn0004 with the mill sub hands okay so uh, which is your preference guys so do let me know in the comment section below and of course if you guys want to support the channel please do use uh, my affiliate links that is available in the video description below so that will definitely definitely help um, and, and for me to get much much more uh, a higher commission so that i can buy more watches for me to review for you guys right if you guys like this video please give me a big thumbs up and if you want to see more future video reviews such as this one please go ahead and subscribe to my channel until next time i'll see you soon stay safe and bye bye